And welcome to the first episode of an Ad Astra playthrough. Uh, so the the point of this playthrough is pretty much going to be checking out the mod Ad Astra because it's it's something I've wanted to do. It's part of well, it's in the all of Fabric Five uh, mod pack I'm currently playing, um, but. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get round to it in that, and the server is also down this weekend, so I can't plan it anyway. So I figured, let's let's give it a go. So we're in version 1.19.2 of uh, Minecraft, um, and we've just got a pretty much add Astra and some quality of life stuff. Like we've got a backpack mod, uh, some Paxels, um, other bits and pieces. I'll put a mod list in the description, but it's, it's not like a proper mod pack. And uh, yeah, the, the point really is... Uh, just to, to check out what Ad Astra is all about. So I'm going to spend some time getting started. Uh, it's going to be a little while before we're heading to space or even getting started in any of the machines. So make a, a quick start, get a, a simple basic starter house sorted. And uh, I think we need quite a bit of iron for the first couple of machines. Um, we certainly need it to, to get the book for Ad Astra, which, which we can have a look at. If we look at Ad Astra, um, I'm assuming the Astra Dux probably gives you kind of you know step by step what you need to do. But we need steel, which is pretty easy. It's just uh, iron in a, a Minecraft, like vanilla Minecraft blast furnace. So a bit of iron to get started, and then we've got some other machines and stuff to to get into. Probably like your coal generator, which looks like a bunch of iron compressor for making plates. A bit of iron and some redstone. I'm sure there's some other bits and pieces. I don't actually know what we need to, to get like rocket fuel or build a rocket, but yeah, there'll be some stuff. There'll be some stuff. So yeah, I'll get started and uh, we'll come back and we can start checking out some of Ad Astra. All right, might be time to go and do a little bit of mining just to get started. Um, and we do have the mod piercing paxels in the pack. Um, and I think. I think this is all we need uh, to get one of these. Nice. So these are just pretty handy. Uh, they're not anything too spectacular. They are upgradable. Um, they do have things like 3x3 mining, but uh, from my experience, which admittedly is in a different version of Minecraft, um, the 3x3 mining was kind of slow. Uh, it was a not super enchanted pixel, but it's kind of like a you hold right click. Um, and once you've got the modules in here, you can you can mine three by three. So it might still be handy. I don't know how much mining we're going to have to do. I don't know if that's a big part of um, like the progression through the planets. I don't know if it's. I've only played a little bit of like Galactic Craft, but I know in that one you kind of would get the resources from one planet, and that would give you the the things you needed to get to the next one. So don't know if that's the case here. We're gonna find out. But this might not be a bad place to go mining. I think I can see some coal down there. I might just actually bump up. Brightness. Oh, brightness is right there. Not quite used to this gooey. Cool. And yeah, there is some coal down there. And uh, yes, we got the Caves and Cliffs update. So we should have some reasonably interesting caves to go through. Um, yeah, should be kind of cool. And actually, yeah, the Deep Dark and the Warden will obviously be a thing in this version, which I haven't actually properly played with. Um, whether or not we're going to end up doing that through this playthrough, probably not something I'm going to seek out. But if we happen to be in an area where the Warden is, I guess we'll check it out. But uh, it's probably a little bit unlikely. Yeah, no, no vein miner or ultimine yet, but maybe we'll look at chucking that in. Certainly open to adding a few more mods just to make things a little bit more interesting as we go through. But yeah, time to do the mining. I did see that little bit of iron further up. It would be nice to get a bit of armor and of course better tools because we need to go down and at least get some redstone. I did see and that one piece of iron. That's that's not going to go too far. Would be good to uh, 
get a bit as well. All right, a little bit of redstone. Hopefully that's going to be enough. My inventory is kind of uh, filled with junk, as you can see. So I wouldn't mind heading back up to the surface and dropping some stuff off. Uh, we do have a grave mod, so if we die, it's not the end of the world. We're not going to lose everything, but still, um, let's let's avoid that if we can. Uh, we'll probably end up dying in space. Now I do wonder, I wonder if you can set your spawn points up in space, or you die up there, do you kind of get stuck? Hmm. Oh, that's diamonds down there. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we can risk it. We can risk it. We can always come back. Um, I don't need most of the stuff to be clogging up my inventory. We'll take torches, some food. Yeah. Yeah, I should get those diamonds. I don't know if we actually need them for anything to do with Ad Astra specifically, but can be tricky to find. And we got a couple there, probably not three. Definitely not enough for a diamond paxel. This is probably not a great idea. There's so many creepers over there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. How do we get down here? Good thing that I made a shield. Oh. And a creeper and our health's not great. Okay. All right. All right. Didn't even die. Didn't even die. I see more diamonds over there. Risky. Risky. It's pretty dark down here. Oh, I really want an extra diamond in case. In case we need. Just in case we need a city, and I do see that creeper coming. <laughs> no, mate. Nah. Not today. Not today. Nice, three diamonds. Let's, uh... Ooh. You know what? I never usually check that there's not more hanging around, but that was definitely worth it that time. Cool. Uh, time to head back up to the surface. We should build some kind of something restoring our stuff. Uh, so, getting set up. Not entirely sure what we're doing for a house just yet, but uh, we may as well use some of this geo material. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure we might just make a shack thing uh, for now. Uh, but I really need to find some wool. Oh, we've got a carrot though. It's not bad. Uh, now there is a mod for right click harvesting but it doesn't actually seem to be working so I might have to replace that with something else. Uh, we do have some bone, we could make bone meal and, and get some food but yeah I found some animals but not sheep. Kind of want sheep so I can skip the night because it's a little bit dangerous and I don't have a chunk loading mod so creepers, yeah creepers could be a problem especially if I do that, that just, that made a mess. That made a mess. And just having a bit of a look around, and it looks like over there we have an oil well, which is going to be handy. I think we need that for making rocket fuel. I assume. I assume that's used for making rocket fuel. But uh, no sheep around here, unfortunately, and my iron paxel's almost broken. Now I think... I'm not sure, but I, I don't think these break. Um, I think they stopped working. I'm not entirely sure though. So we're about to find out. We might lose our iron paxel. I don't know how much durability it's got left. It can't have a lot. It can't have a lot. Yeah, see, there we go. There we go. It's broken. Um, I don't think we can just repair it with iron. Well, that wouldn't be a bad thing to test, actually. Um, and the jungle shack is coming along. Ah, uh, I just need some more jungle board, which yeah, I mean, we might have enough to, to finish off the walls and I'll just put like a, a temporary roof on it. 
eventually we'll be going for a more high tech base, but I think for now this will be fine. Now can we, we can't repair it like that. Mm. We will chuck this in here and we'll, we'll fix this later. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we'll just have a pick. That might keep us going. But alright, let's dig into some of these machines because I'm interested to see what they're all about. I also really need to get a inventory sorting mod uh, <laughs> installed. So, look at Ad Astra. Uh, we did want a blast furnace actually. Um, we should get ourselves one of these. Uh, so we can make a little bit of steel because I wouldn't mind having the book. It's a little bit expensive actually. It's a little bit expensive, uh, at least early game. Eight. Eight iron when we don't have a whole whole heap of iron, but probably going to be worth it. So we'll get ourselves a blast furnace, which will be handy for processing some uh, iron as well. Um, and we wanted, yeah, we need eight, eight steel, which is reasonably fast in that thing. How much we apply that sugar cane? Just in case we need more. I still would like a sheep. There's got to be a sheep around here somewhere. Maybe I'll pop up that hill and have a look around. And yeah, maybe I'll do that while this, this is processing, so it's going to take a little bit. Well, it mostly seems like cows, chickens, pigs, and some horses over there, actually. And also a ruined portal, which we might go just see if we can get anything cool out of the, the chest. But, uh, no... No luck finding wool just yet. Oh dear. That's uh, slightly dangerous. Slightly dangerous. Yeah, where are the sheep? Where are the sheep? Plenty of leather though. Probably enough for getting us one of those traveler's backpacks. Oh yeah, a fire. Of course, there's lava and nether rack and stuff, but all right, let's... Oh. Let's see what we get. We got a little bit of obsidian, which is nice. A mending gold pickaxe, a mending golden hoe, a curse of vanishing golden sword. Not so much. Uh, we really can vanish now. There we go. Um, yeah, haven't made a diamond pick yet, so we can't mine any more of that. But actually, is that enough obsidian for an enchanting table? No, not quite. Why are there no sheep? Things are going well. Things are going well. I did not find sheep. <laughs> and uh, now we're kind of trapped in here. We got phantoms trying to get in. <laughs> but at least I have walls now. So uh, sun's coming up. And uh, once it does, these guys are all going to despawn and it's going to be happy times. Happy, happy times. <laughs> there so many zombies. Alright, the harrowing night is over. Uh, we got one string, which I don't think is going to be enough. It's enough for one wool. A little bit short. We're a little bit short. Alright, let's uh, take a break from just trying to survive. Golden apple's quite nice. Uh, and let's dig into this this book, this Astrodux. Let's see what it has to say. I hope this has actually got some stuff in it. Install patchouli. Oh, well, I'll go install that. And the good thing about having not too many mods in a pack is the load times are pretty good. So here we go. Your guide to the depths of space. Add Astro is in development. Some features in the guide may be missing or incomplete. Yeah, so I should probably mention this is version 1.03 of Ad Astra. Uh, yeah, so if things look a little bit different because you're playing in the future, that might be why. So, looks like the moon's the first place we're going. That's kind of cool. So basic materials, we need plates. Um, so we just make ourselves a hammer. We can hammer ingots into plates. That's cool. Steel plates. 
Uh, created by compressing steel ingots in a compressor. So we need the compressor before we can make steel plates. Cool. And coal generator and compressor. I mean, let's start with these things. So we want to get ourselves a hammer from Ad Astra. Oh, cool. And it's got the, that thing. Uh, cool. Let's actually um, bookmark the machines we want to make. So we want to make a coal generator and a compressor. So that's eight ingots in total. Six of them want to be plates. Uh, we can probably, if we make another furnace, get ourselves a coal generator. Nice. Um, we'll plonk you there. Now that is an interesting GUI. That's cool. We want to grab ourselves a little bit of coal. Got to have the food. Uh, let's just chuck one in for now. Building up some energy. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. So we've got ourselves a coal generator. Let's get ourselves a compressor. That's where we needed that little bit of redstone. Should have enough for that. Let's get a couple of pistons and then we need actually these six ingots turned into plates. Neat. A compressor. Plunk you there. You get power. Cool. So we don't have to make any cables just yet. Although I think there are cables. We got steel cables. Uh, a little bit expensive, but fair enough. Fair enough. I don't think with this too many machines we've got to deal with uh, with just this mod. Um, so there's some energy, and then we can make plates. Now I assume it's like the advantage is you don't end up using your hammer, and it's the only thing that can make steel plates. That's right. So probably not worth it for us making iron plates until this hammer breaks, but cool, cool. So we got ourselves this compressor. Um, your first rocket. And a bunch of redstone and some steel. Quite a bit of steel. Uh, I mean, do we make the NASA workbench first? Maybe. Uh, it's probably not worth it. We don't really have the resources for that. Uh, and we're going to want to make all the, the bits and pieces for the rocket. And preparing to launch. So let's have a look at fuel. So even after you place your rocket, you won't be able to fly just yet. To fly, you'll need to fill the rocket with fuel. Oil is found in large amounts spouting over the ocean surface. We did see that. Collect as much oil as you can as oil is non-renewable and you need a lot of it for each rocket launch. Okay, now we don't have waystones in the pack. So actually traveling between planets is going to be... We're going to have to be conscious of this. Um, I also don't think there's like a tank. Do, do we have any sort of tank for holding fluids? That looks like what this is. I'm assuming these are like hold more and more. So we might get ourselves a tank. I don't think we want to worry about a NASA workbench just yet. We're actually starting to get a little bit low on iron. We've got 24 left. But okay. So we're going to need ourselves a fuel refinery. Place three buckets of fuel into the input slot. Oh, this is for once you've made the fuel. Place the other three buckets into the rocket's inventory for a return trip. So three buckets of fuel. Okay, that's not too bad. So we could get ourselves a refinery. Well, can we get ourselves a refinery? We could. I think... We might be better off making ourselves an iron tank first so we can go and collect some of that oil and see what that's all about. So that's going to be five steel plates. Uh, and then we want three or two more buckets. And then we're going to need another six. Yeah, we're just getting pretty low. <laughs> getting pretty low on steel. Hmm. I'm going to have to go mining again almost immediately. 
Um, I would like to make this vacuum upgrade though. Um, it's going to make mining a little bit nicer. Um, we can just process that in there. So if we want steel plates, that has to go in here. So you're going to need a little bit more coal. Nice iron. It uses exactly the amount that it's making. Another cool uh, GUI in this machine. And we get ourselves this Paxel. Can I make myself a backpack yet? No, we're still short of wool and... Uh, probably a little bit short on iron for that too, but a backpack would be nice. Which is actually using a lot of our iron and it's starting to rain. There we go, our vacuum upgrade for our Paxel. Our Paxel's broken. Our Paxel is broken. Cool. Cool, and I suspect we probably are a little bit short on iron for getting this tank. Wait, did I use a bucket for something? No, 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 we've still got the buckets. Um, can we get the fuel refinery? We're short. Six steel plates. Uh, we might be okay. And we need one of these. There's a fuel refinery. We can plant them here. That's neat. I guess you put oil in. Yeah, just oil turns into fuel. Cool. And we need six buckets for a return trip. That doesn't seem too bad. Um, we're actually short of, short of stuff again. Now, can does this work with wood? No, it has to be coal. Okay. Um, probably charcoal as well, right? I would assume we could use charcoal if we wanted to. And yeah, I realized I'm actually short a bucket for making a steel tank, so I'm going to have to go do some mining before we can do anything. But that's cool. That's cool. Um, let's let's leave it there. I mean, we've, we've got our first machines. We are almost ready to start making rocket fuel, uh, although I don't have a bucket. Hey, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time for some more Ad Astra, and uh, hopefully we can make a start on assembling our rocket. See ya.